Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and as I'm sure you're all aware, Cinema 4D R20 is just around the corner. That gets released in September. Uh, Maxon announced it a few days ago, and um, obviously I will be covering the new features of um, R20 when it gets released. But in the meantime, um, I just wanted to bring your attention to a... Uh, uh, blog on my website so if you go to the blog page you can see that I've got this Cinema 4D R20 announcement and if you um, actually click on the header of the image here what I've done is I've collated all the videos uh, of the information about uh, Cinema 4D R20 so it's just a handy place for you guys to go and um, and look at all this stuff we've got the new fields which is basically um, to do with the fall off is really really powerful i think we're going to be able to get a lot more uh, control about what's going on with our mograph objects i think it may work outside of mograph as well um c4d r20 volumes this uses the open vbd uh, what it basically does is it lets you sculpt with um voxels um and, and that is absolutely incredible got loads of stuff here we've got all uh, new imports for c4d as well so now c4d will accept solidworks file step um all different kinds of cad we've also got the c4d um we've got the new gr uh, gradient for r20 we've uh, got some volume modeling there another one multi instances this is pretty incredible um it will now allow us to instance many many more objects so millions of objects um it, that looks really really powerful we've also got some enhancements and updates to the motion tracking uh and this is a big big one that um i've had a lot of people talk to me about actually a node based material editor um it's been said in the past, over the last year or two, that um, Cinema 4D seems to be lacking in this area where other 3D uh, programs seem to have embraced it, why are we lagging behind, and now they've done it. And I'm sure they've been working on it for a while and just wanted to make sure that it actually worked 100% smooth, and from the looks of things, it does look incredible. Um, we've also got the Uber material now. Um, again... It looks really, really good, really good. Um, which is that is actually related to the uh, node base material there. Um, and we've got some pro render enhancements. So now in pro render, we've got things like um, subsurface scattering, uh, multi pass render, and motion blur. So that's a uh, that's nice. We've also got the alembic enhancements. Uh, this basically lets us cache. Um, stuff in cinema 4d using alembic which is really good and we've got some chisel spline uh, effects there using the new fields that we mentioned earlier and then i've put a load of uh, videos uh, up about uh, the making of this influencers video in fact let me just play this um it's very very good let's get to something more interesting so this video was um, created with um, R20 and uh, the, pre the preceding videos after this one actually explains how some of these effects were achieved. Um, and we've got some other videos there. We've got a showreel for Maxon for this year. We've also got um, uh, the, um, how they new use the new volume modeling in R20 for this influencers video here. And we can see that in action there and there. And there's a part two to it as well. Yeah. So it just shows you some of those things. So this stuff is really worth checking out. So head on over to uh, digitalmeet.uk. I'll put the link in the uh, description of this video actually for you guys. And uh, yeah, enjoy. For my viewers on YouTube, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description and the footer of my website. If you'd like to help support Digital Meet, this can be done via Patreon or the support page on the website. But if you want to help Digital Meet keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website.
I also have a second YouTube channel called Beef Doctor, which is a bit of a dumping ground for non-3D content and where I'm streaming games. There's a link in the description and the footer of digitalmeat.uk. I hope to see you guys in the chat. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.